Short Term 12 is a touching, well-acted drama about kids in a foster care group home and the young staff members who try to help them. It's based on the actual experience of the director, who worked in institutional foster care for two years after he graduated from college. What makes Short Term 12 special are its realistic characters and the emotional honesty of its well-written story. Short Term 12, this is Grace. Remember, you're not their parent, you're not their therapist, you are here to create a safe environment, and that's it. Got it. Brie Larson is Grace, a staffer in the group home who's trying to ignore a troubled past of her own. Nate is a new employee who doesn't know what he's gotten himself into. I took a year off of school because, you know, I just wanted to get some life experience, and I always wanted to work with underprivileged kids. What the f*** is that supposed to mean? Marcus, settle down. No, I want to know what you mean by that. And then there's the new girl, Jaden, played by Caitlin Dever. Please don't be offended if I'm not very friendly, but I'm going to be living with my dad soon, and I don't really like wasting time on short-term relationships, so, you know, it's nothing personal. Wow. She seems like a really nice girl. Hey, I think we all can respect her space, okay? The other main character is Mason, Grace's partner in work and in love. He's played by John Gallagher Jr. Both Mason and Grace are former foster kids who take better care of these teenagers than they do of themselves. I've been waiting for three years for you to just once take the advice that you give your kids every five minutes and learn to talk about what's going on inside your head. Both care deeply about the kids they work with. I am on the floor every day with those kids and last night that girl sat next to me and she cried and she tried to tell me the only way that she knew how. Grace, it's not your job to interpret tears. The pain that Grace uncovers and shares is almost her undoing. Short Term 12 is all about coming to terms with the bad things that have happened in your life. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.